Let me show you how to warp a weaving loom. In this video, I will demonstrate how to warp the small frame weaving loom I sell as part of the Beginner's Weaving Kit at my Etsy store, Patricia Cantos Design. The warp consists of the threads running lengthways on a weaving loom. In traditional tapestry weaving, the warp threads are completely covered by the weft. The weft is the yarn woven across the loom, over and under the warp threads, shown in the lower half of this picture. Before warping the loom, we need to determine the warp set. This is the number of warp ends per inch, known as the EPI. It determines the spacing between each warp thread and how intricate you can make your weaving. The warp set is related to the weft yarn you plan to use and is important to ensure your weaving has an even surface. A simple method for determining the appropriate warp set is to wind both the warp and the weft around a ruler for one inch, as I will demonstrate now. Here we are using a non-stretched cotton as the warp, the white thread, and a DK weight wool yarn as the weft, the green thread. I have marked out one inch on the back of the weaving sword which comes with the weaving kit. Then take both ends together and line them up along one of the lines and tape the two ends to the back of the weaving sword with some sticky tape to hold them in place. Then gently wind the yarns together around the weaving sword as shown here, making sure that you do not pull too tightly on the wool yarn and that you do not bunch the yarns together too much. Wind until you reach the other mark then count the number of white threads. In this case, there are nine. We are going to round that number down to an even number of eight, so that our warp set for this weaving will be eight ends per inch. Next, we're going to mark out one inch units on the rounded ends of the weaving frame. Use a tape measure and pencil to do this at both ends, as shown here. We are now ready to start warping our loom. Place the ball of warping thread on the floor and the loom on a table. Attach the warping thread to the round end with a simple knot. Then holding the warp firmly between your fingers, rotate the whole loom and wind the warp around the opposite round end. Continue rotating the loom and winding the warp. Wind so that there are four warp ends to each inch marked at either end. When we secure the warp in the next step, the warp ends will double to give you the eight warp ends per inch which are required for the set. You may find it more comfortable to rest the loom on your lap to warp the loom. Choose whichever technique you find most comfortable. Next, we're going to give each thread a little pull to make sure that all the warp threads are evenly tensioned, but not too tight. Tie off the end in the same way we tied on at the beginning. We are now going to secure and space the warp with a couple of rows of weaving. This will be done with the same warp thread. Measure out three widths of the loom with the warp thread and using the wool needle provided in the kit, thread the warp onto the needle. Next, we are going to weave one row by going over the warp threads that are on top and behind the warp threads that are sitting below, as shown here. Be careful to alternate going over and under each thread in order so that they do not twist. Check as you go along by pulling the warp thread downwards. Once you reach the right edge, pull the thread through, leaving about 15 centimeters at the other end. Next, grab a fork from the kitchen and firmly pack the yarn down. Now we are going to wind the thread around the right side of the loom two times. Now 
once and then twice and then thread the needle again and this time we are going to weave back the other way going under the opposite warp threads. This will be easier as the warp threads will already be up and you will be able to go under several threads at a time. Once you're at the other end, pack down the thread with your fork again and wind the ends of the yarn around the left side of the loom and tie firmly with a knot. These two rows of weaving will help secure your warp in place. Now we need to adjust the spacing so that the correct set is established from the beginning. We use a tape measure to do this and either your fingers or the end of the wool needle. Adjust the threads so that there are eight warp ends per inch. The final step before we start our weaving is to insert the shed stick, also known as a weaving sword. Starting from the left edge of the warp, we're going to insert the shed stick between each warp thread alternately so that the warp leaning towards the back sits on top of the shed stick and the one leaning towards the front sits behind the shed stick. Work your way across the whole width of the warp. Swiveling the shed stick upwards will push every alternate warp thread either to the back or the front, creating what is known as an open shed. If you want to learn the basic plain weaving stitch, please watch my plain weaving video. I hope you have learnt something new. Have fun weaving and subscribe to Weave With Pat to get all the latest weaving tips and design ideas.